people kind of put the story on us, the family of like, oh, you've always been like that, and then we tell the story about ourselves. What happens if you drop the story? I found that I was living all about the story, right? When I was acting, even when I wasn't acting on set, I was acting. I was acting like the happy little starlet. I was acting like I wanted to be at the premieres. I'm done with the acting. I'm done with the pretending. Because the money, the status, the illusion of cool, it is nothing compared to how good it feels to stand in your own skin and to be authentically who you were meant to be. So I am not, um, I'm not very good at girl stuff, like the, the hair and the makeup and the clothes and all of that sort of thing. And so I, I, you know, was getting ready to come here and I was figuring out what I was gonna wear. I was like, it's a women's conference. They are gonna be wearing some really cute shoes. <laughs> And so I have, I have one pair of heels that I bought like two months ago and I've never worn. And so I'm walking around my house trying to see if I can actually walk in these shoes and I realize I'm like, I can't, I just can't. But I felt like, God, it's a women's conference. I have to look cute, I have to wear the cute shoes. <coughs> and then I just realized I was gonna ditch the story. Like I was gonna show up and talk to you about authenticity and wearing heels that I've never worn before because I don't know how to walk in heels. So I thought, screw it, I'm gonna come, I'm gonna give a keynote to a women's conference and I'm gonna wear Doc Martens. <laughs> and it feels really good to show up and just be like, you know what, I'm here. You like me or you don't and that is none of my business. But I'm bringing who I authentically am. 